With us now is Lior Perry, whose father, Chaim Perry, was kidnapped from Kibbutz near Oz. His half-brother and the half-brother's girlfriend were murdered in that same kibbutz. Thank you, Lior, for speaking to us, and sorry that you have to be going through this. Thank you. Good morning. Lior, can you share what are the sentiments now that some of the hostages have been released? Does it give some hope for more to come? Yes, of course. As, uh, as we also the release, and uh, it made us all in the community of the of the families uh, that uh, were not released yet. It made us all feel very, very optimistic, and we had a very, uh, uh, a very good feeling about it. Uh, but now it's combined with another feeling that is uh, the we're not so sure. Uh, if the if the if the side of Israel and of Israel and Hamas will manage to to proceed in this process in order to to uh, to take advantage of the situation and try and bring all of the hostages back, we we see a, a we see a way now that they can go, that Israel and Hamas can go, but we are very we are very afraid that uh, they might. They might not do it. They might uh, fall into disputes and the uh, and the demonstrations of power and whatever, and uh, avoid it. So it's uh, the, the tension is, is really really high. A mix of emotions. Now the deal with Hamas this time around only includes women and children, and certainly not even all of them. What do you expect the Israeli government to do next in reference to the men, such as your father? As I said always, the Israeli government should demand all of them. Okay, the Israel government should say, "Bring us all the hostages." I don't know who. If, if I don't think Israel is asking for specific people and getting specific people, I think they are getting whatever Hamas is giving them. This is why we say, "Don't, uh, don't try and do a selection between people. Just bring out whoever is possible to bring out." Uh, whoever Hamas is giving you or whoever you are able to, to, to ask Hamas to give take them all out, take all of the hostages. Uh, hopefully, the weaker population, uh, those being the, the women and the children, and now we expect the elderly to come. Uh, and after that, keep on going because uh, we, it's important for us to say we wish to see everybody out, not just a specific group. Uh, because every release makes us very, very happy, despite whether our loved one is included or not. So we, we would really love to see everybody out. And of course, the elderly, for the simple reason, because they are running out of time. They are really, really running out of time. The, the condition, <clears throat> as we understood, are maybe okay, we're not sure, but it's it's definitely not making their, their life longer. Okay? They, it's, uh, it's a tough condition for, for old and sick uh, people. So hopefully they will be there in the next year. We saw a lot of solidarity by the families of hostages. Even some of those who were released wanted to go out and participate in the rallies. How did that make you feel? Yeah, it, it makes sense, okay? Because they know, they are the first ones to know the urgency. They understand it is really hard for normal people, for everyday people, to imagine the horror of being taken activity in, into Gaza. Okay, it is impossible. And people who, who were released understand this this uh, uh, this feeling, and they wish to come and to share it with us, just to make it just to just to make it uh, more uh, more important, just to make it sound. Okay, because they. they it's very hard to to explain the feelings of the uh, of how how it is to be in captivity, and this is why the minute they go, they come out of captivity, they want to join the effort of releasing all of the rest. And, uh, and also, we need to <clears throat> to listen to them because they are the first one who can tell us that we are uh, running out of time. That uh, people will not, uh, especially the old people. And we have some very old people there, very sick, and they will not last. I mean not without their medication and without the care. And uh, so we have to listen to them, especially to them. We saw some elderly women being released. Hopefully the men will be next right after. If there was any way your father can hear us right now, what would you say to him? 
I wish I could say, hold on, we're coming. But uh, it's not on our hands. It's not in our hands. It's now uh, in the hands of, the, of Israel and Hamas to negotiate the disputes between them and try and try really as hard as possible to act like adults. How difficult it may be for, for, for both sides to, to, to act maturely. Uh, at least the Israeli side should not uh, be afraid of of, of, uh, of all the games that the Hamas has been playing and uh, try to, to keep all of the parliament members quiet and not letting anyone throw anything into the fire to make it just to act maturely, that's all. That's, that's like a, <clears throat> a basic rule that everybody should follow now. And also the media should be a little bit lower the flame, okay, because uh, uh, although it's really uh, good to see the, the celebration of, of every relief, it is not something that we should uh, uh, anticipate or or, uh, or look for. We should, uh, every time a, 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 a hostage is coming out, we need to say, Great. Where's the next one? Or when is going to be the next one? That's that's all we need to think about. And so, my father, I will tell him, hold on. We are hopefully we're coming soon. Leo Perry, thank you for speaking and sharing with us. Hopefully, your father will be home soon. Thank you very much.